Hi everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial. Today we are going to talk about high resolution smoke simulation in Blender and how to improve the look of your simulation without getting endless render times. So I was working on my plane crash scene and it was uh, the time to add smoke and fire to it. Unfortunately I wasn't sure about doing it in Blender since I didn't have good results in the past. So I was about to export everything with Alambic and bake it in another software which have Smoke Solver integrated. I, I know that Blender doesn't have last uh, Smoke Solver solution and it's clamped to 512 grid resolution. I'll show you quickly how to create a high resolution smoke explosion. Uh, I discovered that the key was the turbulence field because when we talk about huge scale, we automatically think about this kind of bubbles which follow and slide over high density parts. How can we get those bubbles? without exploding baking time. First, uh, we need to create a quick animation on any shape you want. This is just to get the emission of the explosion. So use Shift A on the keyboard, mesh, icosphere, go to the frame 10 and press I, set a scale keyframe on all the available channel. Let's go time frame further and set the scale to zero. Our object will disappear since it have no longer a visible size. Press I again and set a new keyframe in the scale channel. So we need the last keyframe at the frame we want our explosion to start. For this example, we start, we start the explosion at the frame one. So we go back to one and set scale to zero again and press I one last time, keyframe the scale channel. You can add a displace modifier with cloud texture mapped on the global coordinates to add more uh, random during the, the emission if you want. <coughs> Our, our basic animation is ready, but if you want to improve the, the animation of our emitter, feel free to do it, even if you're using an already animated object or a particle for emission. Now we need a domain. I'm using the quick smoke shortcut in Blender. It's very useful since it creates uh, it create at the same time uh, a material for the renderer you are using. If you are using cycles, uh, as I am, it will automatically create the volume material. Make sure your domain is adjusted and go to the physics panel, set the division to 128, which is pretty decent for now. Vorticity set to the maximum, it's, uh, it's four. Enable adaptative domain and switch from point cache to open VDB blocks at half float to not fill up your data hard drive. On the emission object, it will Velocity from emitter box. Uh, now press Alt A to play your animation and see uh, what we get. If you have a slower computer, uh, you can also click back, but this button will be available only if you have already saved your scene. So this is the result. Uh, it's still missing this little random bubble. So we won't go in high resolution section yet, but because before going into it, we want to make sure our animation is good for us. The, bas the basic division of our grid will create small vectors, density and stuff to our voxels. Uh, without entering into details, uh, what basically does the high resolution parameter is refining, noising and detailing the basic smoke scene. I I'd like to think we need to use it if only our volume is missing sharp and detailed at render. Uh, for a comparison, we can tell this is like a subsurface modifier uh, onto a low resolution mesh. If your mesh doesn't have uh, the shape you want, what subsurface modifier will do is just refining, detailing and smooth your mesh. If you're using the wavelet noise, it will refine your sim by adding a, a smooth and detailed noise in it and follow the basic vector of your road division. Next thing we want to do is create those bubbles uh, into our root division and for that we need to create two turbulence fields. Uh, so I'm using Shift A field and turbulence field. We can find its settings in the physics panel, uh, set 10 or 15 uh, to, to the power value and let the size to zero. At zero to default the field will make its own size to one. Set a key in the Z translate channel and go to the curve editor, select your channel, press N and create a generator modifier. This will animate linearly all the channels. And I'll go with uh, 0.1. This is basically a linear function. Create a second turbulence field and do the same. We just have to set its power value at uh, half of the first turbulence and set the size to 0.1 to create little details in the smoke. In, in the 
generate or curve, uh, we just want to animate it a bit less, so reduce this value. And press Alt A to play your animation and notice the difference between what we had before and what we have now. Now we have enough realistic animation. Uh, continue to play with uh, the first turbulence until you have the result you wanted. You can also play with the root division, create settings for your smoke, but as an advice, I'd, I'd like to stay with a, a binary value, like uh, 32, 64, 128, and so on and so on. When we get the animation that we want, uh, you can rebake the entire animation with high resolution division if necessary, because sometimes the domain scale is higher than the render resolution and we don't need it. If you are using high resolution division, you can play also with the strength of the, of the noise. Sometimes it creates queered artifacts, so we don't want this kind of artifact in simulation. And to decrease it, you just have to set a lower value in the strength of the noise. So do not hesitate to bake and rebake again. Keep in mind uh, what kind of animation you're looking for and try different settings until you, you have something that's close to what you wanted. Now, the last thing we want to do is to correct the shader. Uh, in this case, I, I add brightness and contrast node by using Shift A, color, bright and contrast. Connect it to the density value and contrast it a little bit. Set a high value in multiply math node to add density. One more thing, uh, just add a mix shader after all shader nodes. Connect the add shader and uh, hold out to the other available input. Add a math node. In the drop down menu, select less than and connect the density attribute in it. Set the value to 0.1 or less, it depends on your scene. This will uh, allow every cluster to skip rendering pixel with less than 0. something density value. Go in the rendering panel, uh, size the step to 0.1 or less, and 124 is a decent value for most of, of simulation, so I'll go with it. We don't need a high sample value or, in, or your render will process forever and ever. Even with a powerful GPU, most of the time I don't go over 64 and make sure you enable uh, the animated noise. So if you want to do something like uh, smoke emitted from the contact uh, from an object to another, uh, you just need to do what I did for the particle emission in the, the X-Wing crash. Uh, I, I'll make sure uh, that uh, the link of this tutorial will be in the description. Use dynamic paint to to create the animation emitter on the floor, but instead of emitting particles, just emit smoke. As you can see in this comparison, high resolution added sharp and smooth detail, but the global animation we wanted is still the same. So all right guys, I'm recording on my free time and I it takes me time since English is not my native language, so I'll keep recording as long as I, I have some free time. I hope this will help you. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, just ask them in a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. Next time, uh, we will talk about fracture modifier and rigid bodies for the plane crash. Um, so until then, take care guys and see you next time.